old is she? Why is she dressed like somebody's grandma? She wore an Easter outfit. Yeah, <laughs> Easter so damn. She wore her Easter outfit to return to court. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Antoine. And I'm Antoinette. The reaction to the case of returning to court, we have a young lady here who is trying to find a father of a kid. Mm -hmm. Common theme here on the show. I mean, that's literally what the show is <laughs> about. What the show is all about. <laughs> It's like, what is Maury about? What is paternity court about? What is like, right, yeah. right. What are you talking about? She tested the third guy to figure out the paternity of a kid. Hopefully this guy was a father. I hope you guys enjoy our reaction. Without further ado, let's get to it. Miss Hicks, you say that when you're- Oh Lord. Miss Hicks, why you got a Yorkie on your head? What is that? <laughs> Not a Yorkie. <laughs> um, she always has something to say about wigs, but I'm not gonna lie, this wig. And how old is she? Why is she dressed like somebody's grandma? She wore her Easter outfit. Yeah, <laughs> Easter so damn. She wore her Easter outfit to return to court. Oh man, that Easter. We gotta stop the clown on this lady. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. You know what? These are her breast church clothes. How dare you? Why does it look like she has two separate wigs on, though? They look like two. She's a brunette and a blonde. It's like they just stuff like one wig behind the other. And it like, looks like the top wig is on backwards. It's a lot happening right now. You're appearing in court today with your husband because you both want to learn the truth. Yes, ma'am. I was trying to figure out, did she cheat on her husband during the paternity? That's mine. And, I, and, that, and that's and and that's him. And that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Yeah. Or did this happen before? Because this is the third guy she's trying, trying to, to figure out. I wonder it makes if you all wonder. three cases are online. Because this is the only one we found. If there's another case that she did online at another court show, let us know in the comments. The reason Miss Hicks is bringing you to court today is because she now needs money and is trying to get it from you. Yes, ma'am. Sir, you haven't even gotten your braids done. No, I, was I do not think that. that you have the money. You then. can't even get your braids we braided before the court case, bro. What? makes you so sure that Mr. Bolton is your son's father. Yeah, it's very simple, Your Honor. It's a process of elimination. Go off process of you know. elimination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said process she of said... elimination. So if I tested three guys, then one of those three guys had to, to be the father. to be the father, yeah. You know what? This woman is a math genius. She is. Probability. How does it teach scores work? Through the roof, just like that wig needs to be. <laughs> I met Rico here when I was 17, 18 years old. Short, at that time, I was very promiscuous. But even though I had a boyfriend at the time, I was still sleeping around. I'm just going to say, I respect this woman's honesty. Because too often, we come to these court cases and the woman try to be like, oh, I didn't sleep with anybody else. I can't believe it. I'm so shocked. Like, she's being honest. Like, I slept with a lot of men. And of course, we know this is the third guy she's tested. And the woman is out like, they don't know how this happened to her. Like she said, she was like 17, 18. And let's be honest. A lot of people was out here wilding out 17, 18. Yeah. They were just lucky that they didn't get pregnant. Exactly. Like, if men could get pregnant, this world would have probably, like, quadrupled oh, and probably. You had a boyfriend, but you'd also slept with a couple other men. But when you found out you were pregnant, you were staying with your boyfriend's family. He was like, okay, well, this baby don't look like me. Basically, when my baby was two weeks old, they put me out the house took everything that they had bought my baby back. I understand being upset, but you're gonna take back stuff for our baby? See, I wouldn't think I would bought the child for this. I would take it out on the child. And like I said, I understand them being upset about it, but yes, you're bringing a woman so. to a home who cheated on or messed around with your family member, but yeah, that's a little extreme. Okay, yeah. fine, kick her out. But to take away things from the baby that yeah. the baby needs? Yeah. You get thrown out on the street. Yes, in the middle of January, my baby left out with only a diaper and um, a t-shirt on with a blanket in his car seat. A two week old baby out in the cold like that yeah. in January? January. Where are yeah. they from? Cause New York January is be brutal. It's different. This woman could care even less. After the, even after she heard the baby get Yeah, she's, she's just like, like mm. uh. So now you're getting the first guy tested. tested. Exactly. Yeah. What happened? The test came out that, you know, he wasn't a dad and you know, tears flew, all of that other sad stuff. I'm sorry, why did she say like that? Tis fly. Yeah, tis fly, you know, all of those sad stuff. I'm like, man, were you actually sad about it? Yana, she just said she just had two men tested. 
That just sounds crazy to me. Sir, the fact that you're the third man sounds a little crazy to me. The same men that try to judge these women are the same men sleeping sleep with well. them. Don't sleep with a woman that you would not want to especially, have a child with. Especially unprotected, bro. Yeah, like, or raw, what? like with any old body. Yeah. Like this was just a hookup. You gonna go that route with a woman that you barely know? This is how STDs and all these other unwanted things get. Like, sir, you can you catch know. an incurable or end up in paternity court. I see Miss Hicks at the bus stop. At that time, my car was broken down. She said to me, what's your name? I looked at her crazy like, why? Then she said, Rico. I'm like, how do you know me? She said, we might have had sex a long time ago and I have a uh, baby. No, let's, let's, I let's have the bus stop. stop. This man is probably like, I'm never gonna ride the bus again in my life. He is probably traumatized he by the bus. Is this how you go to the bus stop and find out you were so, daddy? So random, like, I had sex with you <laughs> two years ago, remember? And by the way, I'm, I'm pregnant too. <laughs> you got bus fare? Bye, Felicia. He's at the bus stop. It's clearly she's at this money. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's got money. He just doesn't have money to fix his car. Or maybe money to buy a stable car. <laughs> <laughs> also, the way he said it, almost like she has psychic powers. Your name is Rico. Oh, that's actually my name. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? This is adding to your doubt because the all of these years, she's not even looking for exactly. you. Exactly. You wasn't a thought. You had evidently sex with me. I mean. Evidently, it wasn't uh, memorable. Uh, Hold on. Oh. Dad! Oh no! No, it wasn't. Oh no! You see the face face? Yeah, he said, no, he what did me? He turned around. <laughs> you were loving it. wasn't funny. It <laughs> wasn't funny no more. Why wasn't he a thought when you knew you had slept with multiple men? He wasn't a multiple. He wasn't a multiple. It was a one night stand. That's it was a, a multiple. One, what was she? No, she she, I think, no, no. I think huh? she meant, I think she thought about it happening multiple times. Damn. She's not understanding what multiple means. Like the fact that she's wearing multiple wigs, she's not She's not good with multiple. Like we didn't know you have a multiple night stand. It's like you slept with a one night stand, you sleep with somebody you barely know. I, I said know you multiple men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think this Lord. is too much bad yeah. Listen, I had a one night stand, but we want to sleep together multiple times. It only takes one time. He's like, yeah, one man, one time. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. How convinced are you now that Mr. Bolton is the father? Oh, I, I'm, I'm very convinced because I only slept with three men at that time. It's a very good chance that he could be uh, Micah's father. You don't sound very convinced that this is a father 100%. But I'm happy that she doesn't sound convinced because I hate it when they be like, I'm a thousand percent sure, yeah. Mari. She's infinity percent I'm sure. I'm infinity percent positive. Okay. I'm like, yo, how can you lose track? Were you sleeping with that many people you lost track of who you slept with? Very so, good yeah. chance. Yeah. Are you 100% sure? I'm 100% sure. No, no, you're not. Don't say nah. that. Please don't say that. Because the fact that she was like, oh, I think it could be. She went from, I think it could be to 100% sure. Didn't I just say, good job for not saying I'm a thousand percent Boy, that she go, come on, man. You spoke too soon. I did. I really don't want to raise a kid not knowing if he's really mine. There's nothing wrong with <laughs> raising kids or anything, but he's not an orphan. And he may have a father out there or not, but I'm not sure if I'm the father. Just he because does of her, have a father. So our name, his name is yeah, Renard. And, and Renard? Why did your mama name you that, Renard? sir? Renard? I heard of Bernard, but not Renard. That's different. As a kid, yeah, let's say that. poor child. Yeah, kids got jokes for days, man. They're mean. Yeah, and this man got a brown and red suit. Oh, he looked like he got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> and a chest cavity, he's like bleeding out. Mr. Well, Williams, you do understand that he has doubt. No, I can understand the that. The two other men have been tested and... In the way she, she went. <laughs> Excuse me, <you're... laughs> This lady is a character, this for real. This lady is so tiny. I'm she... like, incredibly short. How does she have a sexual movement? How is this functionality oh, working? So this lady weird. is like... She's like the old church woman. <laughs> She did that like she's, old church She's the church old woman. rebellious church woman yeah. and a young woman's body. <laughs> All right, Sister Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a wig. That is a taxidermy Yorkie that she has oh, on top of her head. Not taxidermy. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Yeah, because there's like, nothing to say.
there, but the case. She cannot clown on her. Like, she's tiny. She's dressed like an old black woman. You put a wig on orange, and that's exactly what this lady would look like. You wrong. For that. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize. Did she just say you wrong? <laughs> She been making the same thing the whole case. <laughs> oh no, you know who she looked like? Oh my god. She looked like Droopy Dog. Oh, she looks oh, like man. Droopy Dog. You're wrong for that, bro. <laughs> you are wrong <laughs> for that. Look at this. Tell me you, that lady. Yo. <laughs> we got Jessica Bill here. Yeah. <laughs> she won't. She's mad about that divorce with Justice Timberlake. Oh man. Some of these people in the audience are uh, typical black community problems. They're yeah, just very right. disinterested so, in this yeah, whole place. Yeah. You know, them just not being good family units is always kind but of discussion. Comforting. If they choose to see it that way, they choose to see it that way. Yeah. But what we have is a woman who changed her life around, got into a steady relationship, and found a man who's not only willing to be her husband, but be a secondary father to her mm -hmm. child. If you want to look at it as a negative thing, that's yeah. on you. Because the child's not fatherless. No. Regardless of what the paternity reads, which I'm really is honorable for this man to step up, because a lot, a lot of men aren't willing to do that. I said, look, Rico, don't start a relationship with him until we get the text. He wanted to start that relationship. I didn't force my son onto him. Because first of all, just like I said, my son has but wait, a you just said you were 100% sure. I we just said, we, this lady doesn't sound like she's 100% sure that's her dad. All she's saying is, wait till you get the test and right. it proves that you're the I father. Get, I got her in theory, but at the same time, you just said you were 100% sure. All um, right, let's get to the results. He looks like him. I think he is the father, even though I think she still had a little doubt. I think he's the father simply because the kid kind of looks like him. I just think he's the dad because I honestly don't feel like this is going to keep going. I just feel like this is the last time this woman is going to be on paternity court. I hope so, so. Unless she's on Maury, I think that he's the father. Tell, there's only a few places you can pick up. <laughs> you know. Hicks versus Bolton. <laughs> You're terrible, bro. You're like, you're actually not a good person. Um, like, <laughs> I'm so mad. She like. <laughs> oh my god, this what bitch yeah. is so funny. <laughs> Mr. Bolton, you she getting anxious. are not his father. Oh! Wow. I told you. Flashback. He looks like him. I think he is the father. End of flashback. I'm good at reading body language. She did not seem 100% certain that that was his dad. Uh, I was just really hoping yeah, that Yeah, she fooled us. All my laughing aside, this makes me really upset because this is a child who is now calling this man daddy mm -hmm. and that's not, not his father, father and this man is most likely going to leave this child's mm -hmm. life so until this woman knows for certain she needs to make sure she does not introduce her child to these people anymore he's just gonna remember all these people coming mm -hmm. and going out of his mm -hmm. life thank god for a stepfather yeah. but this makes me really heartbroken and i think it'll be a little difficult now because like that was her fun days and that was like several years ago this kid's like three years old now even finding those men is gonna be really difficult she didn't even remember this one you know the kid is suffering in this scenario and wasted this man's time you know this guy like spent a lot of time and started to be a father try to step in and play a parental role in this kid's life and now you know all that time is wasted you have a kid that's a little confused now he had to you call another man daddy it's not favorable for the kid at all that's the end of this video we would love to know what you guys thought of it did you think he wasn't gonna be the father or were you full like us and thought that he would be. Either way, we hope that this woman can find her child's father. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you thumbs up this video. Forgive me for laughing so much. Let us know your thoughts on this video and anything else we should react to. Subscribe, put that notification bell on so that you know whenever we post, and we will see you guys in the next one. You're not gonna say bye? Bye, guys. <laughs>